Did everyone have a chance? I sent an attachment with the vowels that appear underneath the letters. Did everybody get that? This one? Mm -hmm. Yes. No. So no. I'm sorry that some of it was a little dark at the top, but I wanted to make sure everybody had it so that, yep. That's so the two pages. To it be oh, was it two pages? Okay. Mine came on two pages. I, I had attached them here. Uh, it, what I did was I um, I wrote it out on one page and I took a photo because I have not a whole lot of good technology around here, unfortunately. Um, but I but somebody was having a problem with the with the two dots sounding like the I in it. I think was that you, Eileen, that was having con some confusion. Yeah, because somebody I was, was having confusion. what it said on, on in the Shalom Aleichem. Right, right, and I. I choose to teach it a little differently. I mean, I don't know who's right. <laughs> everything okay. everything I read is the same as the Shalom Alechem. So, because I have it on this one too, if you can see it, I copied it. Okay. As long as everybody is on board and other than um, Beth's question, are there any other questions? Okay. So I wanted to start today, I believe I said page 19. Right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so on pages 18 and 19, we would, there were, it's called um, review and expansion. And if you look in the right hand margin, you can see that the review includes the letters we've already learned and in different combinations. Did people have an opportunity to look at this and review this by themselves at home? Not really. Okay, well, I whether you reviewed it or not is, is up to you. The best way to gain fluency in reading Hebrew is to keep reviewing. They recommend reviewing um, about 10, 15 minutes a day, if you can. So, of course, that's up to you. Now, um, one of the names on my screen is Thomas Wexler. That's... But that's not... But your first name must be something else. Right. He's asking what your, your first yeah, name is. What is it? I'm changing what? it right now. Oh, okay. All right, sorry. You're blowing her witness protection protocol. <laughs> <laughs> you're, right, you're right, I am. <laughs> right. Better. Oh, uh, welcome, artist. Thank you. Okay, thank you for changing that. And welcome, Andrea. Uh, okay. I don't recall if you were here before. I, think, I was. Um, yeah. Well, okay. Yeah. Um, excellent. Uh, Gail, I think, were you here last time, I think? I can't remember, but welcome, everybody. <laughs> All right, so if nobody has any questions, I'd like to proceed to page number 20, which has the little letter at the top of the page. It almost looks like an apostrophe. It works like the letter Y in English. What I mean by that is the following. Sometimes, it's its own letter, and it sounds like you, yet, youth, words that begin with a Y. Sometimes I like to call it a vowel helper. When it appears, for example, in the word money, you don't pronounce the Y, it just helps the E say E. Or the word hey, H-A-Y. You know, the horse ate hay. Again, it's helping the A say A. So I call it a vowel helper. So this little vowel, which has the sound of a Y, it's known as a Yud, that's the name in Hebrew, but it acts just like a Y would act in English. Any questions? So what does it sound like? Y. Yeah. It sounds like Y. If it's being a letter and it, it has no sound, if it's being the vowel helper. So, for okay. example, in the in the word money, you don't pronounce the Y. It just helps the E. No, I understand that. I understand yeah. that. Okay. 
but also um, yeah. isn't it a silent and it just takes on the vowel sound? Only after an A or an E. Only after the A or the E. Yeah, I mean, on page eight. Page eight. We're going all the way back. Hold on. Right, because it's following the E. It's following the vowel. It's following the vowel. It's following the vowel E, and it's it has no purpose other than it's like I, I like to say it's helping the E say E. So I'm not sure I understand. I'm not sure I understand the difference yet. Okay. How do you know when um, it's a yo? Okay, so when it's a y, it will have its own vowel, either un most likely underneath it. Oh, okay. Next. All right. Now, one other thing. Let me go back. I'm trying to recall. Um, no, okay. On page 18, let me go back to page 18. The vowels I sent you, the sheet with vowels that I sent you are all the vowels that appear underneath a letter. Right. There is a, there's a vowel that appears next to the letter or on top of the letters let me write that out for you. Let me get, let me do this. Okay, so can everybody see this big black thing I just wrote? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, good. So that's the Aleph, which is silent, and right next to it and above, so I call it on top of the line. Think of the word top has an O in it. It's on top. It has the sound of O. <coughs> Sometimes it will be written. Is it only the dot? I'm getting there. Sometimes it's only the dot and sometimes right. it's propped up by a stick. You see yeah, how it's oh. propped up? And that's also O. Okay. Right. All right. And the, so, how does that pertain um, to the mm -hmm. I'm sorry, one at a time. Who was talking? I was. And no. the stick okay. is the final mm -hmm. rate, right? Oh, no, no. Uh, no uh, the stick is just propping up the dot to say O. Oh. So it's not, that's not a letter then? Not yet. But it will be. Not, yes, that's correct. And is it? That's why I said not yet. And what's the it's not letter? a final anything. Wait till we get there. Okay, hold your question. Okay. Thank you. I just don't okay. understand how, I'm sorry, Carol, how does that pertain to this on page 20, the yuk? Okay, so on page 20, that's why I went back. Because if you look at line, well, if you look at line one, take a look at line, everybody take a look at line one on page 20. All right? And so we have, I'll read it across. We have ye, 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 ya, ya, yo. Right. That's why I re wanted to review that so that you could see how the ye works. So it just has to have a vowel under it. Under or next to it. So in well, other words, next the to it would be an O. Yes, for now. Not always, but for now. It's an O because the dot is over. Right. Okay. Are there any other questions? So I think though, to follow up, in what Janie was saying, like on page eight, it was showing us how it's used as a vowel helper. Yeah. And on this is show on page 20, it's showing us how it's used as the consonant. Is Correct. Right. Yes. Just to make sure I understand, as it's because it's a little 
But it is it's the Y, right? It's the Y as the vowel on page eight or the Y as the letter Y on page 20, I guess. Correct, correct. But when it's um, when it's helping the vowel, it really does, you know, pronounce it. <coughs> oh. Right. Page that's eight that's is the, not a Y. Page right, eight, but page eight, eight is just but, not a right. It's the it's the A E I O U N sometimes Y thing. Yeah, it's the yeah exactly. Y thing. Yeah. Okay. So if we don't have any other questions, I'd like to start reading on this page, which is twenty. Um, I want to. I would like to start with line two. Jamie, are you up for it? Yeah, sure, but I knew that was coming. <laughs> <laughs> I call a lot. Uh, I call upon people as they are as you see on my them. screen. I know. Okay. <laughs> That's yeah, yeah, yo, yeah. yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oi. <laughs> L. <laughs> yes. L O. Oh, yeah. No. No, that's L -M. L yo. L yo. L yo. L yom. Perfect. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> um, line line three, Eileen, please. Okay. Yo. And that's a k. Yep. Um, yo. <clears throat> yeah, nice. Whoa. I'm, and that's a final race, so it's. Uh uh, no race is here yet. Oh, so that's which is the final cough. No, that, yeah, you did that right. Yo. Yeah, yo. The next one. And the next one. Yosh. Yep. Yom. Yep. Yom. Okay, that's no. Um, e yoim. Okay, remember, uh, sound the letter then the or sound the consonant then the vowel. So okay. you've got yo, yo, and then it's um me yo me. Right. Perfect. Yes. Artist line four, please. Okay. Uh. Yo, yeah. Uh, okay, wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. Stop, 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 please. If you take a look at the sheet that I sent, it showed two dots adjacent to one another, and I sort of kind of maybe drew a picture of a snake to remind you that the two dots next to each other were snake eyes. So uh -huh. it's an A sound. So it's Yale? Yep. Yale? Okay. Yale, yeah, uh, yam. Uh, same thing. Wait a minute. All of these have the A sound. You see but that? The, but the second one, it's uh, if it's A, then it's. I thought it was an ah. Maybe I'm I'm mistaken. Obviously. Um, <laughs> so the the second one is. I, I still think it's a yeah. yeah but it isn't. It's it isn't. it's two dots next to each other. Yeah. So it's an A sound. So correct. Okay. As in snake, A. I'm getting my, my tongue around the snake. Okay. Um <laughs> yeah. Snake A. Snake. Yay. Better? Yes, yay. yay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yay. Yam. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yam. Hang on. Hang on. Wait a minute. Hang on. All of the letters on this line, uh, the vowel in this, every single little mini word in this line, the vowel is the A, the long A. A. Okay. All right. So, aim, aim. Uh, Okay, wait a minute. You're on line four. three, correct? No, four. That's why. Oh, wait a minute. One, two. Okay. Yes, four. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. Four. I'm sorry. You're right. It's four. 
I said three when I meant four. Part, I apologize. Let's start four again, please. L, N, or rather, uh, okay. Uh. okay, hang on. When the little yud comes at the beginning of a word, it works like a Y in English. So it would be the y sound. Like if you had the word Y-O-U, you, Y-E-T, yet. But it's okay. So if, if that's and it's yell or yeah, a snake. And the, so I'm, I guess I'm confused. If you're saying that it's a yud sound at the beginning and the two dots are an A, right. so it should be Yale. Correct. Okay. And then the second would be um, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, yame and yame and yes. yeah, uh, my, um, it looks like yad and yat and yesh. Yeah, uh, okay. Yate and yesh. Right. And the one before yate, between yame and yate is. That's the R sound. Yeah. Y yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Because remember, or not, <laughs> um, that letter, and wait a minute, I need the fatter point of the marker. That letter, I, I hope I overemphasize, it's rounded on the top right. That's how you know it's the R sound, R for rounded. Okay, does that help, I hope? No. <coughs> okay, so now we're on line five. Carol, yes. can I ask a question? On the same Absolutely. line, line four, the the uh, third and the fourth, they both have uh, mems on the end, but the fourth one is a final mem, and the third one is not a final mem, but yet it's at the end. Okay. Backwards. That's a perfectly legitimate question. Um, I think the author of the text was just coming up with little syllables and wanting to make sure everybody could distinguish if this was in the middle of, if this were in the middle of a word, it would be yame something else. If it's at the end, it would be yame. Um, so that was the author's choice to do that because these are practice exercise sizes. Okay? All right, they're just trying to mix us up. Absolutely, I agree. <laughs> Uh, line five, Gail, please. Um, yeah, uh, yal, yah, yah, yam, yam, yamim, yah, uh, yah, uh, yah, <laughs> That's hard to say, yah, uh. Perfect. Yes, very nice. Um, let me see. Line six, Harriet. Please. You're muted, Harriet. <laughs> Harriet, you're muted. Okay. Um, five again, right? No, six. 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 Yell. Yalel. Yep. Yell. Okay, that one is, there's no L in there, so it's just yeah. Yeah. Can I say yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yem. Yet. Yep. Yes. Yes. La, la yem. La Almost. La yem. La yim. La yim. 
Yeah. Yep. Okay, Nayim. Yeah, where where would you see that? That's the end of a very that's the end of a place name. Jerusalem? You yep, you bet. In Hebrew it's Yerushalayim. That's it. That's the end of it. Okay. Um, <coughs> line seven, Beth, please. Okay. Um, yil, yich, yim, yit, yish, ma, yim. Right, mayim. Ma, my, oh, mayim, mayim. That last one is mayim. Um, mayim. May, maybe some of you of uh, are familiar. There's a, a dance called mayim. If you do Israeli dancing. Yeah. Hey, my the Sasson. Yeah, you got it. That's it. That's the word. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Oh, hey. Read the word. <laughs> Dance break. <laughs> um, Nancy, line eight, please. Yum. Yeah. Mean. Yeah, Mima. Wait a minute. Yom and Yamim is right. Ma, my, Im? Yeah, Mayim, yep. Uh, la, Lot? Almost. Uh, Aleo. Aleo. Uh, almost. Ah, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Lot. Uh, 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 yeah, uh, 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 <laughs> no, wait a second. Ah, uh, 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 yeah. excuse me. Yeah. Okay. You've got it now. Ah, uh, yeah, loat. Ah, uh, la, oat. <laughs> Not quite. One more time. Uh, la. Okay. What I like to hang on a second. I'm going to take a new piece of paper, and when I find my marker again, okay. Let me do this. I hope that this is helpful because I like to teach with a whiteboard or a blackboard or whatever, and of course we don't have one. Okay, so here we have, all right. So I hope everyone can see this. This is the word we're working on. What I like to tell students is to found the first letter vowel combination. So sort of like take a piece of paper, take your thumb, do something to cover everything but the first one. That's the ah. Uh. Mm -hmm. Then slide over. Hold on. Slide over so you get the second one. See, so you have ah, uh, adding to it ya. Uh, yeah. And then finish it. I uh, yeah, loot. Yes, that's it. You've got it. <laughs> Very <laughs> nice. And then the last one. <coughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I wrote. Yes. Very, very nice. Thank you. Um, line nine, Lori. Oh, Yosh, Yo, Yom, Yom, Yom. Yes, very nice. And Andrea, <coughs> um, L, L, um, L, L, yo, yes, L, L, yo, yep. One minute, one minute, one minute. Let me look at that one. Okay, L, yo. L-yoke. Okay, got it. Got it. Good. Thank you. El-yom. 
Right. Yep. El Yom. Right. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. Carol, okay. Uh, this yes. year is definitely a challenge. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, Carol, it is. I, Carol, I have a question. What was the last word on line eight? Yeah, I had that same question. Okay. The problem with the last word on line eight is that it's missing uh, the little vowels under the little yud. It's ya yeah, uh, wrote. Ya yeah, uh, wrote. Yeah, uh, wrote. Okay. Yeah. So it's not ya uh, wrote. I would no. have said I would have said a uh, wrote. No, I it's ya yeah, a uh, wrote. But when you say it's missing, do you mean it should have those two dots one on top of the other? Yes, it should. Yeah. In, yeah. in my humble opinion, it should. Now, it should. They did not. They did not consult me to be a proofreader or an editor of this book. What can I say? For every rule, there's an exception. <laughs> this is true. Thank you. So, thank you for the question. Okay. So the next um, letter we we're learning is the end sound that appears um, at the end of the word, the final nun. I don't think we've learned the nun yet. The one, no, we have not. Okay. Just like the mem, the M sound has a different shape at the end of a word. The nun is another letter that has a different shape at the end of a word. In this case, um, right. it's, it's, so let me just show you now that I'm using, I've decided to find my marker and use the pad. Okay, if you see this word that I had written out, and it's on a it's on a line, and this final nun, I'm going to add it at the end. It uh -huh. it drops below the line. See how it drops below the line? Okay, so that's how you will always know at the end of a word that it's the final M sound and nothing and nothing else that might look similar because this one, the, the bottom of it drops below the line. Any questions? Okay. So, we will look at line number on page um, 21. We will look at line number one, skipping the first letter because it's all there by itself, which I don't, again, don't understand why. I wasn't consulted. So uh, Janie um, had to go and do something. So Eileen, please. And okay. what page are you on now? 22, I'm right? on page 21. 21. 21. Okay. So we right. We didn't. Did we just? Didn't we just do 20? No. Mine yes. Is 20. You're right. 21. Yeah. Okay. I get very confused. I'm so sorry. Join the club. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Eileen, we're on page 21, line one. Skip the first. That's that's the final nun. Correct. Correct. Then we have the the half. So, pain. Yep. Whoa. Okay. And uh, Elaine. Okay. What's the single dot underneath the letter? Again. The dot is E. Right. So lean. Yep. Lean. Okay. Let me just write that. Okay. Mean. Yep. Now that's a. So that's a. It has a dot. No, that shin is not a show. Correct. Right, it's just shh, and then you and then you, I put the e. Right, sheen. Yep. Okay. Okay, so it's um, grown. Yep. And tame. Mm -hmm. Tame. And that's a hey. So hen. Yes, excellent. Whoa, okay, today's you've much got it. Time. You've got it. Um, all right, so line two. Each word seems to repeat itself. Um, artist, line two, please. Okay. Amen. Amen. Yep. 
uh, Yamin, uh, Yamin rather, Yamin, Ain, Ain, Shane, Sheen. Yes, very nice. And we've got the word Amen. Everyone knows what that is, right? Amen. 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 Okay, um, line three, uh, Gail, please. Um, Hamon, Hamon, Amen, Amen. Yamin, Yamin. Ye. Right. Very nice. Thank you. Um, Harriet, line four. Please. Yeah, I, I, I muted. I unmuted. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's um, a straight line across underneath that. Uh, Yan. Yep. Yan. Yon. Uh-uh. Uh, wait a minute. Yan, Yan, oh. the third one. Oh. Uh, yeah, the O is when it's above. Yain. Okay, so we have Yan, yeah. Yan. One single dot Yin. is the E. Yain. Correct. Um, now it's Yon. Yep. Uh, yom. Mm hmm Yon. Yep. Yom. Yom. Yon. Very nice. You notice we have another Hebrew word in the middle of this, yom, which means day. Okay. Like, uh, Yom HaShabbat, the Sabbath day. Yom. Thought I'd point it out. Okay, line uh, line five, Beth, please. Okay. Um, F L L Yo uh, L uh, Yon. Oh, El Yon. Yeah, El, El, El Yon. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um uh let's see. Nancy line six, please. Yes, the Ella? question. Yeah, wait, 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 there's a question. Who has a question? I do. Um so if if the yud is in the middle, it's not silent. Correct. So um Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. It's mostly not. Um, it really, okay, here's, here's the truth of the matter. I'm trying to think of a word in English that has a Y in the middle and I can't off the top of my head. But if the little, oh, good, everyone. <laughs> Except you're not pronouncing the Y as a Y yeah in everyone. Everyone's almost like a compound word. Yes, it is. So that's. That's an interesting example. So here's the deal with the little yud in the middle. Maybe. Um, guys, there's another word, but that again doesn't pronounce the Y in the middle. Um, if, if the little yud, um, okay, the problem with this line is again, they didn't consult me. So it is complicated. So let me do something. Well, let me not do something. If the little, if underneath the little yud, if underneath it there's a vowel or following it there's a vowel, then you pronounce it as the Y. So in this case, it's El Yon because there's a, um, or El Yo because there's a vowel after it. If there's no vowel associated with it, so if it's sitting in the middle of a word and there is, um, another letter after it, then um, you would not pronounce it. So take a look at line number um, three. Take a look at line number three, one, two, three, four, the fifth and sixth words. You see there's the little yud in the middle there. 
but there's no vowel underneath it or next to it, so it doesn't get pronounced. Okay, it's yamin. Does that answer the question? Well, yes, it has to have a vowel under it or after it. Correct. Then it's okay. pronounced. If it's sounds like Y, if there's a vowel under it or after it. Thank you. Correct. Totally correct. Otherwise, it's kind of silent. <laughs> okay. Um, so now we're on line six, I believe. Hi. And Hi. We're, uh, who are we up to? I forget. It was me. It was line five, I think, wasn't it? I might be wrong. Uh, no, it's I line six. Yeah, I we already five. did line five. It's line six. Okay. Mal. Uh -huh. Almost. Take a look at that. Um, that silent letter. What's underneath the silent letter? Sometimes I can't tell the two dots from a line. <laughs> that one happens to be a line. Okay. Mal. So Malachi, Malachi, yep. Malachi, eh, l, f, l, f. Almost. L, e, l, lone. Okay. Almost. All right. Cover up the part you you know. Do what I suggested before, which is l yo. Yeah, that's the word. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say it out loud. Thank you. Um, <laughs> That's okay, I mean, I'll tell you later about it. I was going through services, Malachi El Yon. Exactly. Exactly. This is, the point Sorry. of this book is to teach you how to read Shalom Aleichem. This is one of the phrases. Yeah. Okay, so. Okay, so it's repeated. It's Malachi El Yon and Yelon. El Yon. El Yon. Yep. Malachi El Yon. Malachi El Yon. Right, exactly. Pizza. Very nice. <laughs> okay, um, Lori, line seven, please. Malachi. Hasha Rate. Hasha Rate. Yeah, yeah. Malachi El Yon. Okay, just don't forget that that backwards looking C is a H sound down know, in the I'm throat. Mad, I'm mad at that. <laughs> it gives me a yeah. sucker. <laughs> yeah, just think of that famous composer, B A C H. That's how <laughs> you pronounce it. <laughs> um, Andrea, line number um, eight. Shalom. Aleichem. Oh, Shalom Aleichem. Yep. Okay. Um, Malachi Hasha Rate. Yep. Malachi oh, yeah. Alyon. Right. Very nice. Now, thank you. If we were in person, we could sing this. You don't, However, want, you don't want me to sing in person or with anybody. Take my word for it. <laughs> however, however, singing on Zoom is apt. Absolutely a nightmare because everybody's at a different speed, so to speak. Yeah. Cool. Um, and it's impossible to coordinate. I know this from the services I've been attending. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. If there are, are there any questions? Okay, then we're going to page 22. Oh, we got a picture. There's a picture on page, I guess, 23. I have no idea what this picture is supposed to be, but it must be some depiction of something. Yeah. So anyway. They didn't, they didn't uh, number the picture pages. Well, oh, the, pic right, it's the picture's on both sides and there's nothing on it. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. They're not numbered. It's, well, one know. of them is Joseph's dream. Oh, okay. Thank the you. Angel's going up the oh, ladder. Yes, the angel's going up the ladder. Going down the ladder. Yep. Yeah. I don't know what this is, though. Okay, I have no idea. Well, anyway, whatever it is, it is. 
it would be better if I could see it in color, but I can't. So there you go. <laughs> there is no color. I know. This, book, this is the, the original printing of this book was before color. <laughs> <laughs> it's an old book. I have oh, one original. <laughs> no, okay, so the next letter we're going to be learning has the sound of the B. But I would like to point out a couple of things. Um, all right, hang on. The uh, using this marker, it bleeds through on the paper, so it's hard to write. Wait one sec. There I go. Now, um, there are a couple of, first of all, I want to point out. Okay, so this is the letter. And notice it has a ball inside. Mm -hmm. So you can remember that's a B, B. There's a ball inside. Now, I did a little bit exaggerate the fact that over here, there's got like a little tail or something. I exaggerated it so that you could see that this is different than the letter that looks like the backward C, which I just yeah. now wrote next to it. The backward C is the H sound, and this is the B sound. People sometimes get confused. I don't want you to get confused. Okay? Does, does the bee always have the ball inside? No. <laughs> okay. well, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Let me just see how far we have to go to learn when we take it out. Um, oh, I'm pretty not far. exactly sure. That's the confusion. Yes. Okay. It's the B is part of a pair of letters. One has the ball in the middle for the B. The other letter, I mean, I can, I don't want to confuse you. So when we get there, I'll tell you what, what the difference is. Okay. Okay. So now we are on page 22. And, um, I actually think that the first line is too simple for us. Um, so let's start with uh, line number two. And uh, where did I leave off? Uh, I think I might have been last. I think so. Andrea. So, right. So you already oh. read, Andrea? Yes, I did. Okay. So, and Janie isn't here. So, Eileen, please line two on page 22. Okay, so we go Bo. Yep. Bohi. Yep. Um, Bo Lee. Yep. Bo Me. Yep. Bo She. Yep. Um, and that's that's a T. Right. Yeah. Bo. Uh, both teeth. Yeah, you did it. Very nice. Um, artist line three. Hey, Bo, 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 Achim. Uh, okay, the third, we'll go back to the third one. You missed a part of it. Boa. Yeah. Okay, Boa, Bo, Achim. Yeah. Uh, Bo, Achim. Right, excellent. Um, Gail, line four, please. Uh, Bo, Bowie, Bowie, Bowie. Yes, very nice. Um, Harriet, please unmute and do line five. What was the last word on, on line four? Bowie. No, I have um, another word. You do? Yeah, we four. You don't have four. You have more than four words on it, Eileen. Three, three, yeah, I got five words. Well, we don't have a fifth one. <laughs> we don't have it's, a fifth um, one. It's shalom with a ha. No, we don't have that. With the rage. Uh, no. Yeah. No. Nope. Book it. You, we, we don't have it. We don't have it. That's weird. I have a bonus. <laughs> you have a bonus. <laughs> yeah, can you see it? Um. 
yeah, let me see. One, two, three, four. Kind of, sort of. <coughs> uh, I have no idea why that's there. Yeah, I did see it. Um, it's Shalom, and that's a... Um, it almost looks... Well... Like a race we with a line under, but I'm not going to worry about it. Don't worry about it. You, about can it. it. you can cross it off. <laughs> I'll put bonus. <laughs> Okay, so now we're on line five, and it was Harriet. Bo? Is that Bo, and we just ignore the... Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, so, uh, yeah, here we go. Wait a minute, let me explain. At the, sometimes at the end of a word, we will have that silent letter, the Aleph, um, like we have in this case. It's just there, it's silent. Um, think of all the really? words in English that end with an E and the E is silent. And the E's doing something to, for the previous vowel, but you know, we can, we, you could ignore it. And th in this case, that's what we do. It, it's, in Hebrew, it is, it's a word and <laughs> it's spelling something, but it's beyond where we are right now. Okay. Now you know why I keep myself um, on mute so that you don't hear me hacking. Uh, Bo, Bo, Bo Ach, yeah. Uh, Bo, Achim. Um, ah, uh, that goes like the Ahem. Yeah. Ahem. Uh, Bo Ahem. Yep. That's it. And, oh. oh, there's two more words at underneath. Oh, then that's still line five underneath. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Bohem le shal le shalom. Correct. Yes. We're, we're doing the uh, shalom aleichem. That's <coughs> one of the word combinations. In fact, the verse is coming up next for Beth, line six. Okay. Um. Boahem le shalom, malahe ha shalom, malahe elion. Yes, there you go. Yay! We've got, we got the song or the hymn or the whatever you want to call it, the liturgical piece. Um, Nancy, line seven, please. I know that was coming. <laughs> <laughs> Bo, uh, Team. Okay. Remember the three dots looks like yeah. Bo yeah. Bo uh him. Yeah. Lo shalom. Le. Remember the le, I and it. Le shalom. Malachim. Mala him. Mala Malachim. Nah. -uh. Malache. Malache. Yep. Okay, Malachi. Ha Shalom. Malachi. Elion. Yes, very nice. Thank you. Um, okay, Lori. The next Yim line, Melech. please. Yim Melech. Um, Malachi. Malachi. Yes. Again, part of this p liturgical piece. And um, line nine, Andrea, please. Shalom, Aleichem, Malachi, Pasharit, Malachi, Elyon. Yes. And we already read the last line, so we don't need it again. Are there any questions? Okay. Page 23. Okay, now. We're going to learn a new vowel. I think it's probably the last vowel we need to learn. Okay. Ooh. It's the sound, the sound is ooh. And it comes in two forms. Um, 
if I were standing up and somebody threw a ball at me and I didn't catch it and it hit me in the middle of my body, like right right around where my mm -hmm. stomach is, right? My Lord, okay. Ooh. I would say, ooh, because I got hit by a ball, I'd be scared. I'd go, ooh. So think of that when you see that first part of this vowel, which looks like, I'm holding it up, which looks like this. Uh, can you see it? Yes. Yep. yes. Think of a ball hitting a standing up person and the person goes, ooh, because they were scared by the ball, okay? Now, the ooh can also appear underneath the letters. Now, let me, I'm going to draw something else. Now that I figured out how I can draw. <laughs> um, yeah, I did it right. Okay, I'm sure all of you have played tic-tac-toe at least once in your lives. Yeah. And if I were playing tic-tac-toe and I got three dots like that in a row, everyone see this? Yeah. I would probably say, ooh, I won. Ooh, I won. So those are the two ways that ooh is represented. Any questions? No. Okay. So, um, let's go to line. Okay. So on page 23, I'm not going to read them, but take a look at lines one and two. Line one shows the ooh, that's the standing up ooh, if you will. And line two shows the ooh that's underneath the letter. Okay, everybody see that? Yep. Excellent, mm -hmm. excellent. Um, all right. So line number three on this page, page 23, and I think we're with um, everybody had a chance to read before, so I think we're up to Eileen. Okay, and that's the cough, so the who? Yep. Who, who? That's a final um, none. Nope, that's a final. Okay, good. I'm glad you said that. Wait one minute. Don't go on. I'm not going. <laughs> okay, so the final none looks like this. Okay. It's got a little tiny thing on the top. Okay. This one has, let me contrast it has a big thing on the top. It's very extended. Okay. Going below the line, but it's extended. So see? Oh, oh that's right. So we just learned that. That's the... Uh, let's go back. So that's the huh at the end of the word. That's the final hey. The final huh. Huh. Yeah. So huh is hey, right? No, huh, huh. is uh, huh. The yeah. name of the letter is huh. huh. The same, C-H. Correct? Yeah, the CH, as in Bach. Okay. Um, so, but we just, ha, uh -huh. so it's, it's, ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Excellent. There you go. Um, okay. Um, artist. Line okay. four, please. Uh, ba, ba, ba. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Uh, I'm ba. on line four. I've got yeah. something different. I think. Start again, please. Bear. No, it's bar. Bar. Yeah, bar. I didn't hear you correctly. That's right. that was my fault. I couldn't hear. Okay. Bar, bar, bech, baruch, baruch, baruch. Right. And the third one is also bar. So bar, bar, yeah. bar, bar, 
Baruch, 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 Baruch. Okay. Hey, another word, guys. Ladies, sorry. Okay, line five, um, Gail. Ooh, 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 baruch, baruch, baruch. Very nice, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, Harriet, line um, six. Uh, ooh, hoo, rihu. Yep. Baruch. Oh, Baruch. Baruch. Yeah. Baruch. 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 The last three are all the same. Okay. Baruch. Right. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, okay, so line seven is Beth, I believe. Okay. Um, Baruch. 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 Yes, very nice. Thank you. Nancy, line eight. I have a question. Yes, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Who's got the question? Sorry. Eileen. Okay. Okay. And and we and line six was just read. Correct. So it's Barhu, right? Okay. Not Barahu. All right. So I think <laughs> again, I wasn't consulted. I think it's Barahu. The way they're teaching this text is they want it to be read as Barihu. I would have to find um, a Hebrew expert to verify the correct way to do it. Because usually you'd say Barahu. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. But that's not the way it's written. Very confusing. I, yes, I agree. Do you, do you think, I'm just playing devil's advocate. Do you think the reason this text is written the way it is is just to pronounce things and it's just fake stuff? I mean, no, it's not fake stuff. These are words in the Shalom Aleichem. But not all of it. I mean, some of it's just to learn to learn to get to that point. Yes, some of it is to learn to get to that point. Some of it is just random syllables that would make up the words that may form the liturgical piece. Okay. So, um, yeah, some of them are, not, are what I would call nonsense syllables, but for the most part, they're trying to give you words or syllables that will form the words that form that liturgical piece. Okay. All right. So we are now on, I, what line are we on? Eight. Uh, eight. eight. Okay, eight. Thank you. Me. And it was you, Nancy. Yep. <clears throat> Excuse me. Who? Yep. Who? 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 Okay. Or the ha, ha, who? It's, it's just like a plain old H, like ba humbug. So it's O. Oh. Ho, 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 ho. Well, ba. we were right the first time with the O, so it's. Oh, yeah, that's right. Who? Who? My my, my tongue's too tied. <laughs> who? 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 Bar. Barhun. Baruch. 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 That's is that a final nun? No, that's again. There's an exclamation point at the end of the line, but right. it's, so it's this one, Baruch. So you can you can distinguish between the final end and the oh, final Baruch. Okay, sound. it's a, it's a race. Baruch. Okay, Baruch Hu. Yeah. It's okay. funny when I say it in the prayer, I know it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what we're trying to do here. Well, part of it is I know it by rote. Yes. 
And what we're and trying, that, the point of this text is a lot of people, that's why they chose this piece of liturgy. A lot of people know it. A lot of people know it by rote. A lot of people know it, you know, because they've sung it over and over and over and over and over again. And now we want you to be able to read it. And other things, of course. Now, on line nine, um, there at the very end of the line, I just want to point out that we have. Okay, at the end of the line, we have the the letter H, the H sound with like a. I don't know, like an, not an apostrophe, like a thing next to it. I don't know what you want to call the thing. Okay. The, um, one is not supposed to say the name of God in vain. Meaning, if a, a blessing, you need to fill a, finish the blessing over something. So I should not start to say the blessing over um, wine, go right pre hagafen, if I don't have a cup of wine or grape juice that I'm about to drink from. Okay. So all blessings start Baruch Ata Adonai. But you're not supposed to do that unless you're actually going to be saying a blessing. So the shorthand for Adonai is if you were writing something, the shorthand would be this little, this hay sound with the little doohickey up here. And we say Hashem, the name. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, um, not a couple of weeks ago, sorry, coming up. Um, I, I'm taking so many classes. It was mentioned in the class, so I thought we had read it in the Torah a couple of weeks ago, but we haven't. Uh, Moses stands in front of the burning bush in the, you know, in the desert there, right? And um, he asks God for God's name because God wants him, Moses, to talk to the people. And Moses says, how can I talk to the people if I don't know whose message I'm bringing? What's your name? What do we call you? And this is my paraphrase, by the way. And the answer is, I will be what I will be. So there's really like no name. So some people say, okay, let's call God the name. So that's why this little K with the doohickey is a substitute for Hashem, the substitute for Adonai. So for purposes of this book, and that's, by the way, what it says at the bottom of page 23. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So okay. how would you pronounce that? Hashem. So it is pronounced Hashem, as opposed to Yudhei Vavhe. Right. Well, we'll get there at some point, I think, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've, I've, I've not talked, taught this text before, so I'm not sure where it might come up. But I'm not worried yet. Yet. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so I think we were at, oh my goodness. Um, where are we up to? Are we up to Lori? I think. Depends what line you're on. <laughs> I'm on line three. On. We're on line nine. We're on page 23, line nine. Uh, right. Let me see. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, oh, you weren't there. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we're at Lori for line nine. Okay. Baruch, um, Baruch. Who? Yeah. Um, Baruch Shemo. Great. Baruch Adonai. Okay, Hashem. or Baruch Hashem. Hashem. Yeah. <laughs> Nice, very nice. Can I ask a question? Yeah. So, when when would you use? Uh, is it they're just interchangeable, Hashem or Adonai, to use? Oh, well, not really. So, the very, very Orthodox wouldn't even think twice about this. It would be 
Baruch Hashem. If they're not in synagogue actually praying with a prayer book, it's Hashem. Okay. Um, those who belong to the conservative and reform movements are a little more lenient about it. They would say Adonai. Okay, so that's the answer. I'm not sure how good it is, but that is the answer. Um, so Andrea, line 10, please. Baruch. Melech Haolam. Baruch who? Yes, very nice. And Janie, you missed this page. Okay. So if you could pick if you could pick up eleven. Yeah. Baruch who? Et Hashem. Is that yep. Hashem? Yep, yep. Baruch who? Et Hashem. Le Yolam. Uh, okay, Le almost. Le Remember that oh, thingy is. Oh, oh, oh. Le Yolam. Uh -uh, Le I know you. Right. Wait, wait. Oh, yay, Lam. Uh uh. Okay. Oh. Almost. Remember Le that the. Le Yolam. Hold on. Le Lam. No. Wait a sec. <laughs> wait a sec. Wait a sec. This this thing here <laughs> is silent. So what right. you have is the l, and then this silent letter olam. with le olam. Yeah, le olam. Le olam. Yeah. Le olam. Okay, olam means world, and le olam means forever. Le olam. Okay, so just to give you some vocabulary in case. <laughs> I'm gonna remember it, <laughs> thank you. It, yeah. it, doesn't ma it doesn't matter. Okay, let me take a quick peek. All right, let's learn one more letter um, and then we'll get to a review page and I think we'll, we'll be good. One sec. Okay, we've already learned the N sound at the end of a word. Okay. Um, it looks, it looks like this baby right here. Small little top and a straight line going down below the line. If you were to take the bottom half of the line and bend it to the left, you would have the letter for the N in the beginning or the middle of the word. You see that? It looks like a little H. Yeah, but it almost does. You're right. Except the H is more, both the top and the bottom are more extended. I know. Yeah, are more extended. Mm. Yes, a lot of things look like other things, unfortunately. Yeah, oh, well. very confusing. Yes, yeah, it can be. Now, line number two. So we're up with um, Eileen. Uh, so now we're doing the final nuns. No, well, no, we're doing the not final nuns. Oh, both. <laughs> we're case. doing both, but now we're well. We're, we're doing, doing both, but this page just looks like it's focusing for the most part on the one that comes in the beginning or the middle. Okay. Now, it's the last one. I get confused. That's a ha. Huh. Correct. Correct. Okay. So, nich. Yeah. Uh, Neil, because yep. we don't pronounce the, the yud. Yep, right, you got it. Neem. Yep. And, um, oh, wow. Yeah, that's Nini. Just no. Neen. 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 Yep. And that's a, um, Raish. Yeah. Do, 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 do near. Yep. Niche. 
and neat. Yes, lovely. Wow, I'm impressed with me. <laughs> you should be. Everybody should be impressed with themselves. Okay. Artist, line three, please. Okay, Luni, Muni, Nuni, Runi, uh, Shuni, Tony, Honi. All right, just go next to the last one. It's that's the tone, a uh, Tuni, not Tony, Tuni. Right, good. You guys are, you folks are doing wonderfully well. Um, four. Line four, please, Gail. Um, who, 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 ni, who, who, ni, ba, re, who, ba, re, who, ni, ba, re, who, ba, re, who, ni. Yes, lovely. Uh, line five, Harriet, please. Um, me, me, uh, Rihu. Yep. Bari. Uni? Almost. Remember, it's not an E. It's Bar. Barihuni. Yeah. Uh, Barihuni. Yeah. Very nice. Thank you. Beth, number six, please. Um, Barihuni. Barihuni. Barihu. Barihu. Barihuni. Very nice, thank you. Uh, seven, Nancy, please. Barakuni, Locha, Leshalom, Malach, Hashalom. Okay, the next to last okay. word. Malach. Okay, no. So you've got to, you have to do it. Now like I'm this. putting. You need to go mal. Ah, hey. Malachay. Mal Malachay. Ah, shalom. Ah, shalom. That's a better one. Yes. That one I knew. Okay. <laughs> um, Lori, line eight, please. Um, Ruth, Ruth, question. Okay, wait, is it Lori? Hold on a minute, please. Yes, Harriet. Going back to line seven, the third word. Um, yeah. I would so it's mal okay yes yes so how do we okay. know that it's not mal -okay? Mal -okay. Uh, okay let me show you hold on let me find my notebook wait one sec <coughs> i'm going to <coughs> let me write it out hold on there's a difference between Okay, poorly written, but if you can see this, I hope. Yeah. Okay, the top row says malache. The second malache. word underneath it, it says malache. There's Not a, the extra ah. Right. right. So oh. you want you don't want to have it as m a l a malach. It's M A L Mal Ache. All right, thank you. Okay, that's really what it is. Um, okay, so we are at. I we were at Lori, I believe, and I have absolutely no idea where we are. So Lori, I'm going to ask you to pick up at line nine. Oh, nine? <laughs> yes, please. We didn't do eight. Okay. We didn't That's do all right. Eight. Eight's too simple. You're right. Just a okay. second. Um, okay. Um, Barahuni, Bara Le Shalom, Malahe, 
Ha Shalom, um, Malahe Elyon. Okay, just remember that the word is Malahe. I'm so sorry. sorry. <laughs> you just talked about Malahe. Malahe. Mal Try to stop okay. after the L. Malahe. Mal <laughs> and um, line 10, uh, Andrea, please. Mi melech, malchei, hamelachim, baruch, hu. Yes, lovely. Thank you. Oh, that's terrific. Now, okay. So we are at review and expansion on page 25 and 26. Um, do we want to go to page 27 and learn another letter or do we want to stop? Um, Could we go through and make sure we have the right name of all the letters? Oh, sure. I mean, the focus here is to learn the sounds of the letters, but we certainly, I know the names of all the letters. I can tell you. Well, what they I'll tell you why we're asking this question, because I don't know about anybody else, but we're taking the B'nai Mitzvah class on top of it. And they really said something about we should know the letters. Listen, so like the uh, first one is, you know, is that's, Olive. That's right? fine. That's fine for me. I actually, you know, it, it's, it is what it is. Okay. So let's take a look at page 25. <laughs> and I will tell you what the letters are going across. Okay? okay. So the first one is Olive. It is silent. The second letter is Ian. And for us, it is also silent. The next one is hey. The sound of the H. It works like an H in English. It's uh, aspirated at the beginning or middle of the word, and it's silent at the end of a word. Then we have the huff, which appears in the beginning or the middle of the word. H-A-U-F? Like uh, C H O F, huff, or I guess cough. C H O U G H, C H O U C H, C H O U F. Excuse me, I'm trying to like because I would say the word cough, right? C O U G H, cough, off. Uh. Yeah. So cough, and then there's the final cough. The word for final in he Hebrew are. Here comes a little digression. Hebrew is like many foreign languages and unlike English, Hebrew distinguishes between masculine and feminine. And all verbs, I mean, all uh, adjectives have to agree with their subject. So if the subject is fe a feminine word, the adjective is feminine. If the subject is masculine, the adjective is masculine. So the, the final chaf in Hebrew is the chaf sofit. The word sof means end, and sofit is the feminine version. So it's the final chaf, the ending chaf. All right, that's a digression. The next letter is the lamed. It's the L sound. And I don't have a oh and a red pen. Hold on. I wrote on top of the lamed in the word that I had had up before in red. I wrote an L. See how you see an L at the top there? That's how you can remember that it's the lamed. It sort of makes an L at the top. Then the next letter is an a, a mem. And then after the mem is the mem so feet. And then we have the resh. It's rounded, so it's resh. We have the shin, which the dot on the right. And then we have the tough and the tough. 
We make no distinguish distinction between the tough with the dot or the tough without a dot. That's Ashkenazi, like the shin and the sin. No, no. No, that's that's, that's distinction. Sin. Um, sin. The shin and the sin are totally different. The dot here is um, uh, the tough and the tough in Ashkenazi Hebrew. The first one without the dot was pronounced like an S. So uh, you have like, you know, good Shabbos. Mm -hmm. Shabbat. We say Shabbat always. But, you know, my grandparents would have said Shabbos. It's like bas, mit it's like bas mitzvah and bat mitzvah. Exactly. Exactly. Thank you. I couldn't think of another word, but that's perfect. That's the perfect example. Carol, so, somebody just said sin. What is sin? Okay. There's a, Another letter. Another, it's a, don't get confused. We'll be learning a Hebrew letter whose name is Sin. It's like the Shin, only the dot is on the left. So the Shin has the dot on the right because she is always right. And the dot on the left, you can remember that it's the Sin because the Latin word for left is sin, Sinestra, I think, or something like that. But that we're getting ahead of ourselves a bit. Yeah. Okay, so we are at page twenty-five. We went through all of the um, the names of the letters. But and then we, we have will... what? We have what? The next line of the bed. The next line of letters. Yud. Oh, you mean? Oh, did I miss something here? Oh, yeah. Nun. Yes, you're right. I missed the next line. Thank you very much. And that's um, if the first one is the nun? No. No, the okay, first one's the bet. The first one's the bet. Then yud. Um, and then yud. And then nun. And nun so feet. Or final nun. Ooh. And then we have the vowels, which you've given us a nice little cheat sheet. Right. Uh, Thank you so much. You're welcome. I didn't do on the cheat sheet the um, the O or the O because we really hadn't learned them yet. Right. Any other questions? Okay. Thanks, Paul. So, I want to wish everybody a Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Good Thanksgiving. And a good thanks. That was next. A good Thanksgiving. Thank I you. hope everyone stays safe. Yes. All right, bless. <laughs> and okay. and we'll do see we have, you in two. Do we have class next week? No, the class is in two weeks. This class meets every two weeks, every other week. Oh. So you have plenty of time to um, review. Okay. Thank you. If you have, Thank you're you. welcome. And if you have any questions, you can always reach out. You have Thank my information. You.